Hey everyone, this is Trevor Daly with SLR Lounge. And for today's tip, we're gonna go back into Lightroom and I wanna share with you two keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time when I'm editing photos. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I love keyboard shortcuts. I mean, I use them all the time. I think if you really wanna get productive in Lightroom, it's important to learn those keyboard shortcuts. And so as I come across shortcuts that I use often, I'm gonna to try to share them with you guys as much as I can. Now, two of them, that I want to share today are uh, two shortcuts that I use a lot when I'm basically trying to see how I'm doing with my edits. So as I'm going through the photos, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, that they're going to print well for my clients, that they're going to look nice, that kind of stuff. So um, they're not shortcuts to to edit, but basically to kind of check your edits, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to make this real quick, guys. So basically, if I come to my computer here, I just grab this photo. It's just a session that I'm actually editing um, right now. It's not you know, a portfolio piece or anything like that, but the reason I want to pick it and show it to you guys is because of the contrast in the photograph. So this would be kind of the perfect photo to demonstrate the shortcuts that I'm referring to. Now, the first one is just simply by hitting the letter J. And when I hit the letter J, what it does is it brings up my the areas of the photo that are clipped. So when I say clipped, in other words, wherever it's red, that means it's so white that there's no details there. And that when I print that photo, it's literally, there's gonna be absolutely no detail in the white. It's, it's lost, it's gone, it's photo paper essentially. Now, if I take my exposure down, you're gonna start seeing this blue come up. You can kind of see it down here in the, in the fountain right underneath the, the ledge. You can kind of start seeing it in his jacket there and his pants. Now, when you see blue, that means it's so black that you lost all the details. No details whatsoever. So. Again, when you're printing this, you've lost that. Now, of course, I'm not gonna have the photo like this, but you're gonna see in certain times, if you bump contrast, for example, and then bring that down a little bit, all of a sudden those blacks are gonna start to show a lot sooner. So again, this is not how I would edit this photo. I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. But if you see those blues or those reds, essentially, you're, you're getting clipped areas in your photograph. My little boy just walked in here. Ace, you wanna come say hi to the camera? Come on over. So guys, so luckily, um, I actually, I'm gonna use a preset for this one uh, from SR Lounge. This is the Fuji 400H. You waving hi? <laughs> and what they do in this Fuji 400H is they actually bring the highlights down and the blacks up a little bit. And by doing that, they give me kind of more dynamic range to work with. And now, if I turn that hit J on and off, you're not seeing those clipped areas. You're not seeing the clipping in the, the sky and you're not seeing the clipping in the darks. So I, I mean, that preset works really nice for that. Um, now the other uh, keyboard shortcut that I wanna share with you is the backslash key. So when I hit the backslash key, I'm getting a before and after, before the edit and after the edit. So I love when I'm just going through and I, I look at something and I say, yep, you know, that looks pretty decent. Just real quick, I'll just check it. Just see if there's anything that stands out. I might look at this before and after and decide that, you know what, I need to darken down the the areas on the uh, the corners over here a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness and you can see it's actually bringing it towards the inside because I need to invert that. All right, and I'm just kind of darkening that down. So again, before and after. And you can kind of see just, just real quick, it allows me to get just a, a quick idea if that edit worked or not. And so backslash key before and after. And then again, check your clipping by hitting the letter J. And you can see when I hit it here, I don't see any blue or red in my photograph, which is a good sign. So hopefully these tips will be useful, guys. Again, stay tuned. Every single day I'm going to be sharing new tips from Lightroom to camera gear to marketing to business. We're going to cover a lot of different things. And if you have any ideas or any questions for me, by all means, hit me up in the comments below or shoot me a message. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Take care. Say goodbye, Ace. Bye. <laughs> all right, take care.